Hi there, this video is intended for adults who like to craft. Hi everyone, Linda here. It's time for the November Christmas all year long Christmas cards. And <clears throat> this is the last one for the year. And this is the card I made. What I did is I took some dark blue um, card stock and four and a quarter by five and a half or and then I embossed it and did a little um, white. I, I put the white ink on the embossing folder and ran it through my Sizzix die cutting machine. So I have that background. Then I put a piece of white cardstock inside that says, may your season be filled with love and laughter. And so then to create the front, what I did is I had this die from Sizzix or Tim Holtz, and I only used one of the buildings in it. These, this die has, oh, how many, 26 pieces in it, so it's got a lot of pieces. But what I did is I had some of this Christmas paper with all these little people on it, and I thought that was really cute, and I cut out some and popped it up. I put a little bit of snow here with some glitter paper, then I made one house for each one of the cards, and that's how I made the snow globe. So that's going to go on here like this. So there, that goes like that. And then I have a little Christmas tree. And the Christmas tree, I cut out two of them, and I don't have the die sitting out here now because I did make this quite a while ago. So I just got to decide where I want to put it. I think I'll put this one on this side because there's a little guy there. So, and um, this, <clears throat> the back one is cut out of this paper that I got at that garage sale a long time ago. That's a sticky back paper. So I just have to peel that off if I can. And here is the place, there we go. Um, here in Wisconsin, COVID is so high right now. It makes me afraid to even go outside, and my allergies are acting up so much. It's like, oh, is this COVID? So this is just a crazy year. I'll be happy to see it go. All right, then this is Season's Greetings, and I cut this. I'm pretty sure this is a Tim Holtz die also, but I'm not 100% sure because I did all this so long ago. Got it, you know, on one of those days when there wasn't anything to do or, I don't know, I just made a whole bunch of Christmas cards and I tried to leave one sample <laughs> undone so I could finish it. So the Seasons is gonna go over here. It's all nice and sparkly. And then the Greetings is gonna go over here and that's all there is to this card. It's fun to just sit and make like these little pieces. That's what I do some days when I, you know, I'm trying to think of something to do to keep me busy. And keeping busy is really good when you have to be staying inside, which is what I've been doing. Well, I go for a walk every day. Every day I try to get out there and go for a walk. The last couple of days, though, the wind has been like 20 miles an hour, so it's like a double walk, I think. <laughs> okay, come on, greetings. This has been sitting in here maybe too long. But the sun is shining, it's beautiful. The river doesn't have white caps today, so maybe the walk won't be as hard. But I have a, a beautiful path right along the river, right behind my house, so that makes it good. So we want greetings right along here. And this is that two-sided tape that I use. I put it behind the glitter paper and then I cut it out. Let's see, is there an eye here? Or is there a dot for the eye? Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna come out though. That's good, it's good. So that's the card. 
And then I have the envelope, and now I am ready. Let's see, I think I have 10 of these also. So I have quite a few Christmas cards ready to go. Next step is putting the addresses on them and my return labels and writing in them and then sending them out. So there you go, another Christmas card. So I probably won't post any more cards. Well, I might post one in December for January because I'll start again. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you're staying safe and healthy. Bye-bye.